You may have seen the videos where someone beats Factorio without belts or walking or without ever even using their keyboard. Yes, the genre of playing Factorio without things is alive and well. And as the preeminent Factorio idiot, I simply cannot allow myself to be one-upped like that. That's why today I'll be taking things to their logical conclusion. I'm going to beat Factorio without doing anything. Uh, yeah, just, just, just give me a second. Wait, what? Where are all these people coming from? Wh what are you doing? Get out of here! You are ruining the sanctity of this challenge! Oh man, they're just running all over the place now. I can't even stop them because I threw my mouse and keyboard into the ocean for this challenge. Stop it. Stop moving me around with belts. I'm not an iron plate, damn it. Don't you know I am the world-famous YouTuber Dosh Doshington? And now they're coming into my save, mining my ores. I was getting to that part, alright. I'm sure I would have thought of something... Uh, eventually. Now they're putting me on a belt carousel. Why must I be subjected to such indignities? Well, in any case, they're certainly getting busy. It's hardly been 15 minutes, and they've already got some rudimentary science up and running. Of course, um, you know, I would have gotten it done faster. Oh nice, one of them died. I'd check it out, but my hands are tied. All I can do is sit here and vibrate while they run around like ants. Oh, they're, uh, moving me again. I guess they wanted to show off their furnace stacks. They're alright, I guess. I mean, they've got red and green science automated, so that's something. It's, uh, okay, now they're moving me over here, and why are there even more furnace stacks over here? Apparently those were just their starter furnace stacks for making red and green science. Alright, alright, I respect the grind, and they've already made a completely useless machine. Looking a little short on iron plates there, uh, probably on account of that whole other base they're supplying off of the same starter patch, but who knows what's going on over there. They've also built the engine units before the Red Science, and something like 20 Red Science assemblers, which is perhaps a little ambitious for only four lanes in their bus, but no, I'm sure they've got this all under control. Also, who the heck is making hazard concrete before there's even chemical science? Who's in charge of this mess? I think the priorities are all out of whack. There's green science now, apparently, and I've got to wonder if being on this belt carousel is going to mess with the video compression algorithm. Oh, and it appears I'm being moved again. The absolute audacity of these people to come in here and ruin my run and then sign their names. What, do they think that just because they pay me they deserve to have their names appear in my videos? Well, they've apparently got some trains up and running in an attempt to resolve the iron issue, even if it appears to be completely empty half of the time, probably on account of being a single bi-directional track. I would never design my entire base around bi-directional trains. They're just plain inefficient. Alright, we're on the move again. And for some reason, people have just been dumping all of their trash on my belt. Wait, my belt? Oh god, I'm developing Stockholm Syndrome. Also, it appears that someone has destroyed the load-bearing power pole. Here's their oil refinery, I guess. It looks like it might be missing a couple hundred pipes, but I'm sure they know what they're doing. Now they appear to be celebrating the death of one of their own. What a strange and fascinating culture. Moving on, and with my heap of trash and hot pursuit, here's their labs, which appear to be running at half capacity despite the surfeit of assemblers. They've even got military science. And what is going on with these chemical science assemblers? That's, uh, certainly an interesting design they've got there. And it appears I'm being brought back to their monument of vanity. Oh, I've stopped. And one of them comes over to rectify that. It appears that their culture places a great amount of significance on constantly being in motion. More observation is necessary. I guess now they're trying to show me that chemical science is finished? And now I've got some freeloaders on my belt. Shouldn't you all be off building the factory that I was supposed to build? And oop, here we go on to another journey. Where the hell are they taking me this time? How many belts is this? This is so many belts, and even the diagonal. Now that's dedication. Oh, so they just wanted to show me their mining outposts. Uh, uh, wait, what are you doing? Oh my god, they're gonna sacrifice me to the biters! 
Okay, they seem to have changed their mind. Alright then, they also appear to be spending as much time as it took to build to completely deconstruct this enormous belt they've made. I'm not sure if they're doing all of this on my behalf or to preserve that giant heap of trash on the belt. I'm just enamored watching this. Oop, time to disrupt the entire train network to belt across it. And back to the sign. Well, maybe I'll get some peace and quiet so I can finally start thinking about how I'm going to beat this run without doing anything. Or at least I would, if not for all that incessant beeping. What is going on out there? You know what, I don't even want to know. They're showing off their robot frames and processing units now, though purple science and yellow science appears to remain out of sight. Also, there's a bunch more circuits, because you never truly can have enough. But all things considered, things are moving along rather quickly. I mean, I could have done it faster myself, and there's like 19 people here, but you know. There is so much garbage on this belt. I'm not sure you can see it very well considering I'm stuck zoomed all the way out, but there is so much garbage. Anyway, yellow science sure sprung up fast, along with the low density structures. If you look around, there are now multiple machines that do nothing but barrel and unbarrel lube, presumably as an act of worship to the concept of continuous motion. Even more furnace stacks, because even these strange people seem to understand that the solution to not having enough of something is to simply make more of it. Though the displacement of one of their sacred heritage sites to make room for industry seems to have sparked some internal conflict amongst the tribe. Wow, they've certainly been busy. They've set up purple science, rocket control units, and the whole rocket silo since the last time they forced me to tour their base against my will. It seems they're preparing for the end, and they've constructed another circular belt to facilitate their strange rituals and bless the rocket. Also, the massive trash clog is too much for this belt to contain, which appears to infuriate them because they are now burning all of the wood with this cobbled together abomination of engines and radars. Okay, what is going on here? And who threw a poison capsule? Against all odds, I've managed to survive someone throwing poison everywhere, and as always, the rocket is now waiting for RCUs. I'm not sure I've seen a single game where the winning rocket wasn't waiting on RCUs. Seriously, what the hell is going on? I'm starting to think that these people might actually be insane. It's probably for the best I just keep standing still as to not provoke them. And oh, what is that sound? Oh, it's Rick Astley. The giant audio fart from earlier was someone setting up the Rick Astley machine. Well, at least it's almost over. I'm sure they'll all pack up and leave once they're done so I can finally start working on... Uh, hey, wait a minute. I haven't done anything, and I'm about to win. I never really thought about it, but no part of the challenge said that I couldn't get someone else to do everything for me. Uh, so I guess that's how hard it is to- wait, what are you doing? G g get off me! Help! Help! Alright, as you might have guessed, those were a couple patrons playing on a server I set up, and, uh... Anyway, I don't really do sponsorships, but Shockbite just gave me this server for free without forcing me to sign some contract, and we're basically like, well, it would be nice if you talked about us. And so if you need a Minecraft or Factorio server or whatever, you can use the promo code DOSH to get 25% off their services. This video was a bit of a trial run, and I've got some great ideas for what to do with this server, so look forward to it. Okay, 